We met in 2000. Called me in 2000. In 2009. Oh, okay. 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 So, um, the next question is, um, do you know he was married before you go into any kind of relationship with him? Is that then? Oh, I didn't know. He told me. Just got started. And, and I was even thinking, yes, I mean, there are kids. That's what I told him to do. Uh, no, never. I didn't after like a year that he told me you know, they are trying to settle them back. There's things like this. Uh, I'm sorry, your 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 voice your voice is breaking and people can't really hear what you're saying. I don't know. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you, but it's breaking. It's breaking. We can hear, but it's breaking but it's all good you can we can continue mom i did not know that he was married. um he told me he was separate you know i believed what he said um and um i didn't i didn't have to doubt him because i mean why would somebody lie you know it's either i will or but you know going about lying to oh no so I'm sorry to come in. Please, can you um, switch up any form of uh, probably fan or whatever, probably a radio or something, so we could we could actually hear you properly. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can. So no, I don't know he was my. Um, but he is something that he set time for him. Um, so I did not was uh, was not saying I thought it was separate. So I I never saw any ring with him. Oh okay okay so okay all right so um at some point we heard we also heard that um he engaged you. How true is also that? Can can you? Can you actually shed more light into that as well? That's very true. He he proposed over seven is um he's over what? Over seven times, like um run to marry and do this, marry and do that. I don't want to see you with anybody because you're my wife. Everybody knows in my family because that's what I told. Okay. That's Suleiman. Sorry, John. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, okay. So, but why why did you actually go into relationship with the supposed man of God? That um, were you actually not scared for your life? Were you not scared because it's you know I don't know. But you're not scared. Was there a kind of um, situation around there? Wasn't. I actually didn't know him. Uh, because I know some pastors. In 2009, uh, it was not somebody that I didn't know him. At. He told me he was a motivator. And he teaches students to churches, which I didn't know it was bad. You understand? I came from yeah. yeah. And he, you know, I remember he kept asking me, I don't know him, I don't yeah. know him, and I'm supposed to know you. So that check, and when I did, it was only, you know, Google that I talked him on, and there was there was no information. So um, I, I didn't have God. We were not a return uh, about him. Um, you know, uh, you know, when you see. God, you don't need to say, oh, this is the man of God. God mm. Okay. 
Go ahead. Uh, okay. So about the um uh, about the uh the situation surrounding um uh, the pregnancy, we heard you got pregnant for him. And um, at some point, you said, um, you know, you said you should, you should abort it. And the fact that, uh, but at, at some point, you said you, 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 you actually refused as well, but which led to serious uh, bleeding and miscarriage. How true, how true can you tell us about that? Is that true? Is the pregnancy true? And did he actually ask you to, to abort it? And um, also about the a lot of things about the the the, the serious bleeding and uh, the miscarriages. Can you shed more light on that, ma'am? Okay. The bleeding started like, and uh, out of nowhere, the blood just started, and I just thought initially it was. Um, I was aware about it, but you know, I was bleeding, and just the pregnancy was really, really angry that I had to a meeting in that in Lagos. All that it was um, not a, the way he was acting. I thought, you know, oh, he really angry that. He, that and um, he was there to console me um, but, and then on the was the third one who left for six months straight or straight I wasn't seeing my monthly cycle okay this was covering up how you know God has saved me. That's just, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. So, um, yeah, he didn't act like he didn't know. I did not even know what was going on because I was, you know, depressed for the second time. I thought it was the one that I was so short um, at Protea in uh, GRA. After seeing him, I left and then immediately, like, he never stopped. He never stopped. You know? He coming around to see me, even like maybe once. So, guys, now, now, favorite Nollywood actress, Alima Abubaka, now be this one. When she don't come out with her life confession with our popular violence headquarters, Oba, I meet Jis Lover for IG. They do live video few few minutes ago. And guys, when I hear some things when he be say she talk, though the network is very bad and her, her voice they breaking. So Jis Lover now don't postpone the life. Say so few minutes time again or rather some hours. She go come life again. Come talk some kind things. This one are just eye opening. A lesson to some ladies out there. All na for fame. All for money. Una no go even think about una life, una future. Last, last. Una come they talk, say, I die no. Make una they learn. We learn every day from people's mistake. Una see Alima Abubakar. Our beautiful favorite Nollywood actress. When I see her condition, I say it's not good at all. She's in a very critical condition. Though, according to her, say she don't do better. But guys, when I see her say, ah, she not get her for her again. No, see her face don't horror. Not be say with the come here can't criticize anybody, but at least make una try the change on her ways. All these Nollywood actress, all these influencers, people will be say that they hide under fame, under celebrity, they do bad. Going out with a married man in the first place is not even good at all. Now seen in the sight of God and man. Well, should they give out a story to other people to learn from? Guys, I beg, make una put Alima Abubakar for prayer. Nobody is perfect. We are all humans and we are bound to make mistakes. Yes, guys, please put her in your prayers. 
I'm Violet and this is Buzz News. Kindly hit on the follow button. And the least you can always do for me is help me share my video. Share out this video, guys. It's very, very important. Alima Abu Bakasti need our prayers. Our condition not good at all. Like, guys, for this lover to put out for live stream today. For Instagram, eh? Una go no say... Alima Abubaka gets a lot to talk. Just like she talks, say she no want sugarcoat anything. She just won't talk waiting day and mind. Just in case anything happen tomorrow, so that she will be a free soul. Guys, we pray nothing will happen to her in Jesus' name. Drop a word of prayer at the comment section for actress Alima Abubaka. Bye.